Hi, everybody. Welcome to Tabletop Escapades featuring Harry Potter. Uh, this week, we'll be continuing our adventure, which has gotten crazy. Uh, Birdcough has transported us to Esserum when we are dealing with a new location that we are making up on the fly called Blackpot Academy. And uh, that is where we're going to be starting today. We also uh, are getting into the mix with Therese and Vili and, and Kata, uh, but we're going to be starting with Blackpot Academy and there's a lot to go over. There's a lot you may not remember, uh, but hopefully it'll become clearer <laughs> as time goes on. Uh, Professor Mudshaw, the Mud dirty Marsh. Pro- Mud Marsh. Mud Marsh. Mud Marsh. Thank you, Professor Mud Marsh. Uh, the- you can call him Double M. What's up? You can call him Double M too if you want. Double M. Yeah. Uh, big old Double M, the dirty professor. Yes. Who uh, is with Birdcough? Who Birdcough saved his life from a beast. And they use that tusk to drink from, and there's a bendy straw. They're going to go look at the accordions. Yes. Pomper is with Palvin Squib right now, who is going through some relationship troubles with Petunia. <laughs> uh, and everyone's on their way up to Bubble Mine. And uh, everyone is up to their way to, to Bubble Mine. Because Meyer. I said his soul was like a sloth. A fuzzy sloth. A fuzzy sloth. And you're like, we got to see Bubble Mine. <laughs> <laughs> the best They're, kind of yeah. sloth. <laughs> so a fuzzy sloth. High honor. Is a high honor, and it hasn't been seen for three centuries. Whoa. <laughs> Keeping the main character going. Oh, yeah. 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 Keep the main character by. The I, special boy. <laughs> the special boy. <laughs> I wasn't even trying to main character <laughs> Popper. It just came Too out. Too late. Of, uh, yeah. We yeah. got it. It's too late. <laughs> So everybody is going to see Bubble Meyer, who is in the, the tallest tower, and it, it is closed off. His room is closed off by a steel door that can only be opened with a true saw. <laughs> <laughs> what does that even mean? I don't know. It can't contain lies. Yeah. Um, must be a real, true song. So let's maybe start with Pomper and Squib. Palvin, mm-hmm. I assume that you're leading Pomper up to Bubble Meyer. Yeah. Uh, we have to fend off yellow bats on the way up the tower. Ski, ski, ski. I swat them with my we, tail. Why do we have to fend off yellow bats? They're just the tallest tower, it, there's just a bunch of yellow bats. Lousy in there. with yellow was bats. This, yeah. Was this in the Chamber of Secrets game you've been playing? No, no. <laughs> no, but it is but very it sparked Hogwarts a lot of things. Yeah, it's Hogwarts esque. Yeah. 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 Does this tallest tower have a name, or is it just referred to as the tallest tower? Uh, yeah, like, it, its name is, like, uh, Haverthognon, you know what I mean? Like, it's just a long name, so they call it the tall, tallest tower. Kyle, okay. you are so good at coming up with names on the fly, I just want to say that. Haverthognon <laughs> yeah, is a very good tower name. Top tier right that's there. a top tier tower name. Haverthognon has been written down. <laughs> Come on, guys, we got Dylan, though. That's the most <laughs> top tier. <laughs> Dylan, Dylan, Dylan the Seagull is a great name. <sighs> I swat him with my tail, then, the bats. Okay, is Pumper concerned at all about the number of yellow bats that there are? No, not at all. Okay. They seem harmless. It, seemed like, it seems like it would take a lot of these things to bring us down. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Just annoyance. How is Palvin dealing with the yellow bats? Um, Palvin has a flute that he uses. Okay. And most of them just drop. If he plays the right note, it's... <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking of it like a rhythm game. Like the bats come at you and you just have to hit the note of the bat. That's <laughs> <coming at you. laughs> so like particular oh. notes will drop certain bats. <laughs> Can okay. make that game. <laughs> okay. So as you're climbing up, these bats just kind of keep dropping and mm-hmm. forming a trail. <laughs> and... Uh, does this count as tail training, uh, Ben? Swatting these things? Yeah, can you can I have you make Excellent. tail check? Uh, three dexterity checks. <laughs> With a D20? Yeah. Kay. Always. That's uh 20, I think. Not 20. Dex, right? It's not a nat 20. No, oh, a nat. okay, got you. Okay, if it's let me know if it is a nat though. It's not a nat. Kay. No, but it's uh nat, nat, yeah, nat. 20 total. Okay. Seven. Okay. Nineteen. Okay, uh, you feel your tail getting stronger. Yes. And as you climb, it's a very tall tower. <laughs> as you get closer to the top, you notice that your strikes are getting more accurate. <laughs> you start to think that if you wanted to, 
you could target enemies with your tail yes. in combat. Yes. Oh Got but there. only with a strike attack. Okay. <laughs> I use strike attack. We're getting there. All right. So, uh, I want to actually cut to Birdcough and Munmarsh now because mm-hmm. Munmarsh okay. has decided that you need to talk to Bubblemeyer to figure out mm-hmm. the destiny of this fuzzy <laughs> sloth soul uh, because they believe at Black Pot Academy that music is essential. The soul and music are, are one and the same. Of course. And so as you're climbing up the tallest tower... Wait, I need my accordion, though, first. Munmarsh was so concerned about this that oh, okay. he's... like he's Basically, he thinks, like, oh, we can deal with this accordion any time. Gotcha. He wants you to go after Bubblemeyer. Okay. You can... No, because you said you wanted one for Pomper as well. Yes, you said you wanted like two accordions. Yeah, yeah. but if this well, is like urgent, then yes. Yeah, they need to see Bubblemeyer to ascertain which instrument. His got it. Soul. So it's like me to tell you the recording. Yeah. Got yeah, it. Got yeah. it. Okay, cool. That was my understanding. Um, <laughs> as you're climbing up the tower, you notice just bodies of yellow bats. <laughs> so many of them going up the stairs. Oh. Are they dead? No, they're just passed out. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, the old, bat, the old bats are still here. <laughs> are they asleep, though? This is some powerful music. Mm. <laughs> I see. <laughs> the bats usually deter students from getting too far True. up of Haverthogno. <laughs> <laughs> A name I have not said in some time. I'm worried about what we'll find at the top, Bird Cough. No, I'll be fine. They're probably just napping. You're always so confident. I admire that about you. Thanks. Shall we climb? Yeah. <laughs> so they walk up the stairs. I envision this as a spiral staircase. Yes, absolutely. Oh, absolutely. For sure, um, yeah. <clears throat> And so, let's say eventually you catch up with Palvin and Pomper. Pomper, I don't think, would be too bothered. Palvin might be bothered oh, by yeah. Birdcough. What do you want, Birdcough? Oh, we're going to go see uh, Professor Bubbleworth. Bubble Meyer. <laughs> Bubble <laughs> Palvin, what are you doing here? Me and my friend are going to do something important. You can go. Don't you have better things to be doing with your time? Like not failing tests? <laughs> I thought we talked about this last week. Your soul is pitiful. Whoa, 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 whoa. It was my fault. Uh, what was your name? Professor? Mudmarsh. Professor Mudmarsh. It was my fault. This uh, very, very kind student kind said uh, that Baba, what is it? Bubble Meyer! Bubble Meyer! Rat tail! <laughs> Bubble Meyer can uh, grow my leg back and, and my arm as well. I've, I've been maimed. You stairs. climbed all the way up to Bubble Meyer's tower just for <coughs> a regrowth of limbs? That is a common spell. <laughs> we need not bother Bubble Meyer. Well... Wait, I heard Bubble Meyer's the you, best. The best. Do you know why this steel door is here? I assume to protect. Do you know what it is protecting? Bubble Meyer? Come close, child. Rat tail, don't. Don't humor him. Oh, it's okay. Palvin. No, he's an old fool. Don't humor him. <coughs> Someone needs to be put in detention once again. I, I know the beast still lives. The beast lives, indeed. And Bubble. <laughs> Bubble Meyer <laughs> is working on the perfect song to keep the beast asleep forever. Well, look, I was hoping. When my leg and my arm come back, if they do, that they'd come back stronger. So I need the best. I need Bubble Meyer. Excuse me for my skepticism, but I've never seen you before. No, 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 it's okay. This is the friend I told you about. 
No. Yeah. Let me see inside of you. <laughs> okay. Take long look. He gets really close to your ear. I put my tail like right up to us. <laughs> okay. It's kind of petting him. <laughs> You're not petting him. It's kind of just like waving around. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I don't know if you remember last time, but Munmarsh smells really bad, mm-hmm, okay. and you just you just smell just this awfulness emanating from him. It gets worse when he gets closer. Oh, you used to you smell like I used to. Mm-hmm. The students always compliment me on my smell. I am going to hum and look at your soul. If I find. The fuzzy sloth. We will see Bubble Meyer. Uh, all right, just be careful in there. There's a lot going on that I don't understand. (laughs) (laughs) I saw the sloth. But I also saw a great white creature. No, that's just its fur. I told you it was fluffy. You yeah, shut the up, old man! We must talk to Bubble Meyer about this. That's what we were going to do! Yeah, oh see? See? <laughs> Pelvin. Pelvin. This is, is why a great everyone student. hates you. <laughs> 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 but before I was interrupted. We need a true song. I do not have that. And neither do any of you. I do. Bird coughs. You have a true song? Yes, of course I do. You can't even pass my weekly quizzes. Because I hate you. And I hate your class. (laughs) Then please, present us the true song to open the steel door. Uh, He, uh... He's got like a little harpsichord backpack that he like has to combine to create, to create backpack. this little harpsichord. It's like three pieces. It's like Labo. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we're at the door. That's the steel yes. door. Okay. Yes. <clears throat> oh 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 my girl Petunia, she don't love me. No 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 my girl Petunia. Don't want nothing with me so that I'm not with her. My little girl Petunia has better life without me and I'm sad. Can I have you make a performance check? <laughs> <coughs> uh, that's a 3 plus 19. That's a 22. <laughs> What? It's got very high performance. Yeah, yeah, it's really good. <laughs> no way, dude, you're failing. You got negative. <laughs> Lindmarsh speaks up and he says, I've decided to step down as a professor. <laughs> that was so terrible that I feel ashamed that it could happen within this academy. Oh, it's all right. I'll, I'll do it. Watch, watch how I do it. Please yeah. watch Bird Cop. Try. <coughs> He's a master. <coughs> He's a fool. Door, door open. Please open for me. A single tear just drops down for Popper. <laughs> uh, uh, me too, but I was gonna, like try to swipe it away really fast. <laughs> Bun Marsh also has a single tear. Yeah. <laughs> Can you make a performance check as well? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Twenty-seven. Good lord. <laughs> <clears throat> so everybody's single tear goes down their cheek, except you know you're trying to wipe it off. Yeah. But for Munmarsh and Pomper. It's like going down at the exact same time. I mean, when it reaches their chin, the door bursts open. And inside, you see an old man hunched over a desk. Silence! (laughs) I had nearly perfected 
The perfect song <laughs> to keep the beast asleep forever. And you interrupted me. Oh, hi, Professor. And my perfect work. I'm back. Bird cough. <laughs> hi. What are you doing here? Oh, I, uh, I brought a friend. He has It's a... me. <laughs> no, it's not you. What was your name again, boy? Palvin. Palvin, that's right. I've been here for six years. <laughs> Graduate already. <laughs> uh, this is Professor. a... Professor. Yes. I think we should consider expelling Palvin. <laughs> Fine! <laughs> consider it done! <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. It was my fault, professors. B what was your fault? Ruining my song? You're expelled yes, as well! I, I, Get out! Uh, <laughs> Dude, not like this, man. <laughs> Look, pa Palvin is here because of me. I, I apologize. Please, just, just let, him, let him stay in school. Please. No, it's all fine. right. I'll, I'll tutor him a little. He'll fine. be fine. If Birdcough tutors, yeah. he can stay, but you're on uh, probation. Don't worry, Palvin. <laughs> I'll help you pass. Why are you here, Mudmarsh? What's going on? Are the bees loose again? The one... <laughs> <laughs> I, <laughs> I fear the bees may be loose, we but mean? also... We'll fetch the spray later. <laughs> but, but also, this one, I do not say this lightly, especially not to you, Meyer of Bubbles. This one may be the fuzzy sloth. The old man slowly stands. <laughs> <laughs> Monmash, you know what you say. Do not play games with me! I did the hum of the soul, sir. What did you see, man? What did you see? <coughs> I saw a glistening white creature and the fuzzy sloth. Two? <laughs> yes. Two? The fuzzy sloth and another? The song confuses me as well. It is beyond my intelligence. Let, let me take a look. Come here, Those boy! things are you, old fool! <laughs> Why? <Palvin! laughs> I, Come here, lad! I Come hope here. the bees get you, pal. <laughs> we'll have him administer the spray as part of his probation. Boy, come here. I hop over. I'm going to hum into your ear. Okay. Um, Just be careful in there. Gods. <laughs> I have never seen such a thing, Mudmarsh. What did you see? It is as you said. The fuzzy sloth has returned to us, yes. But also, a white entity. I found it hard to focus upon. Mm. No, that's just the fur. It's just real fuzzy. Birdcough, would that it were true. <laughs> it confounds my focus. <laughs> <laughs> but, but if the fuzzy sloth has indeed returned... <laughs> Then the prophecies are true, yes. <laughs> we may be able to get rid of the bees forever. <laughs> no! <laughs> I ruined the show! <laughs> we may not need the spray, that is true. <laughs> you know, uh... I could get rid of the bees r easily if uh, you, you help me with my situation. I hold up my stump. Oh. Uh, Point down to my leg. Bubblemeyer casts regenerate. <laughs> <laughs> it's on page two seventy one. Yes. <laughs> How do you cast it? Uh, it's like the most nonchalant thing ever. He just goes, "Oh, your limbs will be back in two minutes." Is that what it takes? Two yeah. minutes. Yeah. <laughs> No. <laughs> All right, just just to uh, oh, it takes him a minute to cast it, so he goes, "Oh, hang on," and he you, focuses. For you a touch a creature and stimulate its natural healing ability. The target creature a regains forty-eight plus fifteen hit points for the duration of the spell. The target gets one hit point. The target's severed body members, fingers, legs, tails, and so on, if any, are restored after two minutes. Yeah. If so you I, have set, palpate the region gently. Now, would they come back as human limbs or dragonborn limbs? That is a good question. I think also, narratively... Would the what? scales be missing body members? 
Because I lost him. But I mean, you were like, simple. you were transformed. It's like, oh. well, the, the here's what I'm thinking, and bear with me here. So, when Pomper came into this world, he was missing those body parts. You are trying to restore his true body parts. Mm-hmm. Right. What is the true Pomper? Dragonborn. Do you want it to be Dragonborn? Kinda. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I, yeah, but I also think it makes sense contextually. If I, lo- if I am a Dragonborn and I lost them <laughs> as a Dragonborn before I turned into a human. Yeah. It is kind of my true form, I guess. Yeah. I also just think it, since we're dealing with a different world, it yeah. kind of gives us a tether to that previous world as well. Cool. Yeah. And it can be used as proof if you need to argue the existence of dragons. Sweet. Plus, everyone's going to be like, what the hell? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, how hard would it do you work w- walk with like one dragon leg and one human leg? They'll be the same length. They got those weird joints. They do? I'll be limping around. Just yeah. think of a dragon yeah, on Yeah, yeah. Like, you think of like a, like a dinosaur leg, how it's got like toes and it just like... Is backwards. Yeah, these ones are half human though. They're oh, okay, you're right. Like, just got... Their feet are like their feet are like that. I see what you're saying, Kyle, and I think it's a really good point. What if we give you a human leg and a dragonborn arm? Sick. Split it. Yes. Okay. Sign me up. You're now a tyrant. Yes. <laughs> are you a demon? Dragonborn. What? Yeah, what? I know all the creatures of this realm, and I know none such thing. I don't know if I'm from this realm. Bubblemeyer, what do you make of this? Certainly is a strange lad. Strange things are afoot. Well, an arm. (laughs) Ha! (laughs) Ha ha! (laughs) <laughs> You're on thin ice, boy! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. But, if he is the fuzzy sloth, he can remove the bees forever. And there's a chance you can help me with this song. I'll do it. To quell the need. beast. I owe ya. Oh, yeah. You do, yes. Uh, we need an instrument for him. Well, I want to give him one. If he is the fuzzy sloth, then there's only one thing he can have. Bubblemeyer goes to a chest that has a little... Etching of a wood sloth, fuzzy, on the outside, centuries old, <clears throat> opens it up. You're just going to open it like that? He's the fuzzy sloth, boy! Opens it up, and there's an instrument in it. You, you guys, you can decide. Hmm. <clears throat> I'm going to say... <laughs> Brad, okay, Brad can decide what you. <laughs> oh, you mean the trumpet? The sure. sloth trumpet? <laughs> the fuzzy sloth trumpet. trumpet. Takes out a... Centuries old trumpet <laughs> presents it. <laughs> this uh, is for you, boy. Hey, uh, Munmarsh kneels uh, as yeah. soon as you you pull. So does Palvin. I I don't. I, <laughs> I take I, it, boy. Uh, it I, is your right. Uh, your soul is that of the fuzzy sloth I, and some strange, terrifying entity. I can't even whistle. I can't play this. Just play it. Give I it can't. a try. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. Yeah. Uh, okay. Take it. This is a magical instrument. Oh yeah, it's beautiful. Okay. okay. <laughs> uh, I go to play it, and it basically plays itself. I get this rush <laughs> of adrenaline, and it's almost like my mouth and my hands have been taken over. Uh, you can't see Mudmarsh's face because he's staring at the ground, but you do see tears just forming a puddle on the ground below. But it'll only work for the fuzzy sloth soul, probably. Nice. Right? Yeah. Cool, yeah, I just uh, play a Bubble Mars, pretty tune. It. It'll mm. only work for you, boy. You are truly the fuzzy sloth. Wow. Mm. Now, two things. Help me write the horn line to keep the beast asleep. Okay. And then run down and play that for the bees. Okay. They'll get out of here lickety split. All right. Do you want me, do you want me to go do that now? Oh, uh, well, help me with this. Here, uh, look, okay. look at the sheet music. Mm. I know you... Do you even go here? No, no, no. <laughs> he's no, just I'm, my friend. I'm with Birdcough. Yeah, he's my friend. Oh. 
He's my friend. Well, we'll make you an honor. Palvin! Sleepy slot. <laughs> yeah. Boy, go wait in the hall, Palvin. <laughs> you, you're fine. Uh... You're an honorary sleepy hey, slot. Hey, go go easy on Palvin. He's had it rough. Oh, he'll be know? fine. He's had it rough. <laughs> go had it easy. rough. Yeah. Well, you know. I don't know what he's told you, but well, he's told me about it. His dad loves bird cough more than him, and uh, bird cough's just staring off into space right now, picking his nose. <laughs> Everybody loves time. bird cough. Look at him. <laughs> Petunia loves bird cough. What, what was your name, boy? Fuzzy sloth. Pomper. Pomper. Every parent of every child at this school loves bird cough more than their own. <laughs> it is true. Picking my ear right now, no? Anyway, <laughs> just look at this music and, and write a horn line. Okay. I, I'll, I'm hoping. I will I'm write hoping. it down with, a, okay. with a, this Ooh. quill as you play. Okay. Mm. Bird cough. Mm. Where did you come from? Oh How did God, you get it's here? Incredible. Me? Uh. Not ready to share that story. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, the old man, he finishes the trumpet line, and the old man stands. It's the most beautiful thing I've ever heard. Surely this will quell the beast. We will have the chamber orchestra play it for it tonight. <laughs> After the banquet, we will hold in your honor the Do return think? of the fuzzy slime. <laughs> Do you think? We will deal with the beast and the bees in one night. I know, Mudmarsh. I could scarcely believe it. <laughs> We've been waiting our whole lives. Or Seven. it feels that way. It's been 300 years. <laughs> We've been dealing with these bees. Oh, yes. I'm very old. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, maybe, <laughs> maybe now I'll be able to wash off this dirt. <laughs> Like the sins of my past. <laughs> it's uh, possible it was part of the curse. We'll have to see tonight. Uh, Professor Bubblemeyer, I need yes. a new accordion. Of course, boy. Which one do you think I should get? I think... Yes. One <laughs> moment. What? He walks to a closet in the back and comes out with a beautiful accordion. Hands it out to Birdcough and he says, Birdcough. This was my grandmother's. Oh. It's been handed down <laughs> through my family for generations. It looks in pretty rough shape. <laughs> I thought one day I might give it to my son. But sadly, <laughs> he was he was killed tragically by the bees. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and now I give it to you. Oh. It may not look like mm. much, but hey. it's the greatest sounding accordion in the land. I guess it'll do. Call, or, Thanks. Uh, Munmarsh whispers to you. <laughs> I know a better one. <laughs> Whoa. Huh? Meet me tonight. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> After the bees have been dealt with. Mm, okay. What's that, Mud Marsh? Oh, no, hang on. Oh, this sounds pretty good. It's beautiful. In my head, I'm thinking, Therese! Therese, where the hell are you? No response. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> You didn't question coming here once. <laughs> <laughs> well, break off. Bumper shows up in the school. Like, oh, yeah, here, let's go. <laughs> goes, with the, goes with the flow, dude. Yep. <laughs> I want bird cough. Everything's gravy. Yep. Uh, so I don't know if you guys will ever go back. <laughs> Bubble Meyer. Oh, I can go uh, back. Okay. Teleport. Uh, we must prepare for the banquet and the removal of the bees mm. and the quelling of the beast. Okay. We can do it all tonight with the chamber orchestra. We shall see if Mudmarsh's curse is lifted, and you can, you and the, the horn, you can regale us with a special solo. Mm. Should we send the children to bed early as to not expose them to the danger of the bees? No. Wait. Invite the whole school. No. I did Tonight we feast. But if the plan fails... It will not fail. Oh. This bees. is a celebration. Uh, professor, oh. I think we should take Palvin with us. This would be a good learning opportunity. Palvin is barred. Everyone's invited but Palvin. <laughs> oh, professor, I had on. my name. Stay on the hall, boy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Returns to the hall. Hey, uh, <laughs> hey, Birdcough. I pull Birdcough aside. Mm -hmm. Birdcough, we should probably get back now. Get back where? <laughs> get back to the others. Huh? 
Therese. Oh. Oh my god. Oh, Therese. Therese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. remember yeah, 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 the, yeah. the trolls? Yeah, yeah. Look, I'm feeling really good now. We should probably go help them out. I need a rest, though. I'm tired. I can't teleport unless I take a nap. Look, you've been doing the heavy lifting around here. Okay. Grab my dragonborn arm. Let me take it from here. Uh, Just get me back to him. Well, okay, well, I got I got a nap, like I said. No napping until after the banquet. <laughs> oh. We need you both to play instruments in the uh, chamber choir. All right. All to right. deal with the bees. All right, all I was right. so hoping they were just going to ghost. <laughs> 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 Me too. They set up this whole band. Yeah, yeah, the whole band. Yeah. They're like, where are they? <laughs> all the students are killed by the, the bees. bees. That's yeah. exactly what would happen. Oh, yeah, yeah. He said, <laughs> these are some gnarly bees. I got to get that. Yeah. All right. All, all right. right. Hey, can I, can I take care of these bees now? I'm ready to go. Oh, yes. The banquet... It's in 20 minutes. <laughs> Let's rush down to the banquet hall. Did you establish the banquet while we were talking? Yes. I, I, I wrote down a missive to the banquet leaders, and they've been setting it up. I've called in all hands to the banquet hall. Mm. Is there going to be good food? No. <laughs> mm. and so the, Tonight we <laughs> feast <laughs> on garbage. Yeah. Yeah, school never changes. We feast on music, boy. You oh. remember that? Okay. So, do we go down to the banquet? Do you grab Pump's yeah. arm? What's What's the plan here? I go down. I'm going down to t care, take care of the bees. Okay. And then I assume once this is done, we can get the hell out of here. <laughs> okay. So I'm just at this point I'm trying to like hurry it up. <laughs> There's just, I really we've got full crazy. I really just picture like the bees are just like a hive of bees, like <laughs> normal bees. One, They're just in the hive. corner. <laughs> no one's been able to deal with them. They keep coming back. <laughs> yeah, they keep coming back. <laughs> Damn it. It's just <laughs> like a hive in the corner, not bothering any yeah, yeah, yeah. like in a there. like a br a broom closet. <laughs> yeah, <It's like laughs> fine. He killed his son though. Yeah, like, killed his son. <laughs> he was he was on janitorial duty. Everyone's man. terrified we of these bees. <clears throat> hey, <laughs> do you have a cloak I could hide my arm with? Hmm. We can give him school uniform. Yes, we have many pieces of cloth that you could use to hide your gross appendage. <laughs> I mean, no offense. Do you like blue and red? Because that's the, the sloth colors. Sure, yeah. Okay. Birdcough gives you a blue and red cloth. Excellent. Here. Cool. I wrap it around my arm. Okay. And kind of like over my... Wait. This looks bad. Maybe get you cloak instead. Instead of just cloth. Get your real cloak. Okay. I think I have one in my old room. <laughs> Alright, let's go get it. Now yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, let's go check. Cool. So <clears throat> it's actually it's actually Palvin's space. Mm -hmm. yeah. And all of the clothes are Palvin's. You can yeah. do with this what you want. What are you doing here? What? Put cough, leave me pee! Why? Because I can't go to the banquet. At oh. least didn't let me have this. Uh, hold on. Uh, I'm going to open up a floorboard. Oh, cool. And get, like, something out of there. It's an old dusty cloak. Sick. <laughs> this was my first cloak. Whoa. Are you sure you want to give it to me? There's, there's also a crumpled up piece of parchment by the old cloak as well. Pretty coffee. You sure about this? Yeah, you could have that. I'm going to take the parchment. Put in my pocket. No, I saw that. What was that? Nothing. <laughs> Bird cough. You're great. Pompa, you can have mine. I'll give you mine. It's not dirty like that one. <clears throat> Let me see it. <laughs> so he takes off his cloak and like tosses it to Pomper. It's very nice. Can I have it too? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, it's time for a banquet. Oh, Let's go. I take back. We must turn. deal with the bees. <laughs> <laughs> well, Bye, everyone Pauline. said, "Where's the fuzzy sloth and where's Birdcough?" Sorry, I'm late. Oh, get <laughs> fall in line with the chamber orchestra. Okay. We need to play off these bees. Birdcough, what the hell do I do? I mean, just play. Just follow my lead. Oh, okay, okay. All right. 
uh, Bubble Meyer taps a, a conductor's wand on the side of a podium, <clears throat> and he starts conducting the choir, the the chamber orchestra. And I'm gonna start play playing accordion yeah. with you. <laughs> and you play the horn. I start playing the horn. <laughs> you gotta do like a, a New Orleans jazz solo. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't think it's working. The bees are still flying around their hive. Give it time. Take minute to Give really it. get it. You must believe groove. with the f- power of the fuzzy sloth <laughs> and bird cough. <laughs> is there a, another, is there a, a loose accordion hanging around? Are there any other unused instruments? There are many unused instruments in Black Pot. Excellent. All right, I'm going to play accessible. I'm going to hold the <laughs> trumpet with my tail. And then also get an accordion. Okay. Play them both. Mm. <laughs> My God. Are you disrespecting the mystical trumpet? Wait, wait, Mudmarsh. This might be it. <laughs> this might be enough. The tr- secret ingredient to repel the bees. I'm replaying a, a song that I heard Birdcough play. What is that song? Yeah, what is it? Michael, Michael Hubert does not remember, but Pomper does. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Checks out. <laughs> Checks out. That seems, that seems okay. legit. Okay. Birdcough hearing his own song performed by Pomper. The beehive in the corner of the academy falls to the ground oh. and crumbles into dust. Whoa. It's working. You, student! In Open the beast chamber. Is the beast asleep? <laughs> <laughs> the beast Wait, in the in the moment the beehive is destroyed, all of my knowledge of how to play is gone. <gasps> I no longer know how to play. I see. Pumper, why did you stop? I thought I thought we're done here. We do not yet know if the beast is asleep. The I- beast, he sleeps. He We've sings. done it. <laughs> Tonight we feast. <laughs> on feast on song. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> ah. The beast is asleep. The bees are gone. Excellent. Palvin is expelled. <laughs> what, you got expelled? Oh, what? Yeah. Oh. He gave away his robe. That's you can turn a fight against that if you want. Yeah. Is, 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 How it, do we is find Palvin out like it? leaving? He, they told you straight up. Oh, he's on probation now. He's on probation. Okay. He yeah, yeah. He's on probation. Well, yeah, it is on. against the rules yeah. to give away your cloak, uh, and Bubble Meyer sees the cloak with, with Palvin's name on it. Mm-hmm. Did Palvin give you that cloak? I stole it. You don't know, but it's a bad idea, though. Damn Keep it. that in mind. Yeah, yeah I don't. don't really. Okay. Yeah, he gave it to me. I see. Good call out. I see. Well, we shall deal with Palvin. On the morrow. <laughs> Tonight we feast. I think we got a new villain, dude. <laughs> Hunt us down. Calvin returns. <laughs> I was expelled. I was expelled. Uh, Mudmarsh approaches you, Birdcough. Mm-hmm. And he gives you the most beautiful accordion you've ever seen. Uh-huh. What is this, Mudmarsh? <laughs> <laughs> it has solid gold handles. Oh, pretty. <laughs> Birdcough. Beautiful red leather surrounding the handles. Do not be tempted by material beauty. The Wait, songs that my family's heirloom can produce are second to none. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let Bo- me try it. Bubble Meyer is declining. <laughs> Trust me. As you always have. Mm, yeah, let me try it. Kay. Aside from myself. Okay. He gives you the accordion. Okay, I play it. And it sounds worse. Ah. I stop playing it. Mm. I pick up the one that Bobo Worth gave me and I give it back to him. Ah. This, uh, I like this one. <laughs> This one fit me better. Very well, Birdcough. Save it. A single tear rolls down his face. Very well. Birdcough. Huh? We should get out of here now. We've got to go. I got to rest. I told you. (laughs) Eight hours, dude. Uh, Does anyone in this school know teleportation? (laughs) 
hard to. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fairly simple spell. <laughs> What's your name? Uh, Birdcough. Yes. <laughs> the accordion that you have is special. Okay. Ooh. Uh, once per day, if you play the accordion, it can break a charmed person out of their state. Sick. Once per day. Damn it! That's a good. That's a good. That's a troll. It's mm. not a troll. Why? Because I can charm people. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. Only once a day, though. That's not very many. It's all the time. If that's you nice. That's forever. It's uh, introducing a new card in the trading card game. It's mm-hmm. like balance. Yeah. We just beat a boss. Got yep. his card. Yep. <laughs> you. Yes. Boy. Yes. Come up here. <laughs> oh, you're always trying to send people away. Aren't you, Belvin? <laughs> he simply asked. <laughs> yeah, Belvin, I got this. Just go back to your room. No. <laughs> Melvin, I really need to get back now. We're gonna get back. Okay, where to? <laughs> I can take you to anywhere I'm familiar with. Melvin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not gonna work, Melvin. That's just here <laughs> in the bathroom. <laughs> I'm very familiar with every inch of the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> it's like dose of tolerate. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he doesn't know. Melvin, what house do you belong to? <laughs> The fancy ferocious. <laughs> <laughs> they are our most popular house. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Cool. Sloth rivals. All right. Well. I'm are we teleporting bed. or not? That's enough. What? No. I'm going to bed. Only bird cough is capable of this level of teleportation. Of course. Yeah, I'm going to bed. You win again, bird cough. I'm going to my old room. (laughs) 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 So Birdcock goes and sleeps on Palvin's bed. (laughs) Do you follow, Pumper? Yeah. 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 Yeah, Yeah, I'm like agitated though, so I don't know if I'd fall asleep. I'm like worried. A little mad at bird cough. <clears throat> yeah, I'm getting a little worried. I understand though that he does need a rest. And you got your limbs back. There's nothing we can do, but I'm a little agitated. So uh I guess I'm just resting. Okay. Not like a not sleeping. Yeah, I'm snoring real loud. Yeah, bird cough yeah. doesn't seem to mind. Uh <laughs> eight hours pass. Okay. <laughs> And by Would the I... time you wake up, the rest of these students and faculty are still celebrating the sleeping of the beast and the defeating of the bees. <laughs> ready now, Birdcuff? Huh? Are you ready to get back? Our friends could be dead by now. Oh, yeah. We should probably go back. Huh? Yeah, mm. we should. We should go back. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Where no. should we go, though, back? Exactly where we were. No, that's a bad spot. A hundred feet from where we were. <laughs> mm, I don't remember what that looks like. Tell you what. The closest I place remember... you remember. Hey, how about Potbelly's campsite? How about that? Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Perfect. <laughs> that's what I was going to say. Okay. Should we bring... Palvin? <laughs> Palvin's Palvin. been gone, by the way. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Palvin's well, gone. Palvin's expelled. Dang. Okay. Well, he's not here. I guess we could find him. No, 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 no. Forget it. But Forget I it. I feel bad, though. <laughs> he got expelled because of you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I tried to put in a good word. These teachers are kind of crazy around here. <laughs> <laughs> no, not really. I think it's you. <gasps> hmm. All right. I think we should get Palvin. Shit! <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's find Palvin. All right. We'll take quickly. I need to tell uh, <laughs> Bubble Bubble Meyer. I'm going to train him. <laughs> then he come back. Hey, I I leave the room. I go downstairs. Everyone's gathered downstairs. Yeah, they're still celebrating. Does anybody know any spells to find someone? Oh uh, yeah, it's pretty easy. <laughs> Locate person. Lo- is that a yeah. Thing? Yeah. Uh, who are you looking for? Palvin. Why do you want to find that piece of crap? He, he left some things in his room. 
Oh, they're gonna mail it to him. <laughs> they're gonna no, mail it to no. his dad. Hopper, why are you lying? He, uh, he I'm need... just gonna train him. Uh Birdcough, is that you? Yeah. He oh. needs training. Oh, hey man. Uh Bubbleworth, Professor Bubbleworth. Bubble Maya, Birdcough! Oh yeah, uh, whatever. <laughs> uh, so charming. Listen. I'm gonna teach I'm gonna teach him. And if I teach him, will you let him back in? Yes. Okay. Uh, Bubble Meyer knows that Palvin, since his expulsion, has just been sitting in the rain outside of the academy. Oh, <laughs> Palvin's sitting in the rain outside the academy like a loser. Oh, okay. Let's All go right. get him. Let's go get him. Bring him his crap. Mm. Yeah. I bring the crumpled up <laughs> piece of parchment. I already have it. I oh, it was in Birdcuff's cough. We'll never know what that said. I know what it is. We'll never know what that said. Hey, Birdcuff, what'd that uh, piece of paper say? <laughs> paper? Yeah, that was from where? <laughs> in the floor. This is serious. The floor? Yeah. Oh, it's um. It says. Wait, I know what it is. I got a more reason. Yeah. Oh, okay. I, I, Brad's the DM now. It's cool. Okay. <laughs> okay. I, I well, it was like, my. It was like I thought it was my paper. It's something from my past. I when I put it by the cloak, I was thinking of it as a love note oh. from Petunia. Okay. I was um, gonna you say, can make it whatever I was going to say it was my first song ever I wrote. That's Whoa. beautiful. That's way better. Sick. Cool. It's way better. Yeah. Let's it's the so first song I ever twice. wrote. And I show it to him. I don't remember how to play music, but I can read it now. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> sure, that makes sense. It doesn't sense. have music notes on it. It's just lyrics. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Well, I read the lyrics. Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful words, bird cough. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Maybe you could sing them to Pelvin and cheer him up. Eh, maybe. <laughs> maybe when he's ready. All right, let's grab him. Okay. <laughs> All right, Open we the door. go out to Pelvin. Pelvin, what? <laughs> you're coming with us. No, I'm not. Uh, you're gonna study under me, and when you do, when I say you're ready, you get to come back to school. I'd rather die. Why? No. Because Pompo is my only friend, and... Pompo's coming. Yeah, you're coming with us. <laughs> Should we do a persuasion check, Ben? Sure, if you want. Okay. Um, the, the way that I want to handle persuasion between players... <laughs> yeah. And Palvin is... Well, he's an NPC, he's like... <laughs> he is an NPC. <laughs> Not anymore, dude. Not party, anymore. party now! You can join up, do you, much like... Do you think yeah. Palvin would be persuaded by this? Yeah, because here's the thing: is that like no one ever ever asked Palvin like how he's doing, and so when Popper okay. came to, like to his room to like really figure things out with him, it meant a lot to him. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, he's willing to be persuaded. I don't know how to do that roll. Uh, advantage or something? no? We 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 wouldn't roll it. Basically, you are making an active decision for Palvin. Oh, okay. Look, Palvin, it's gonna be an adventure. <laughs> There's gonna be a lot of music. And they're going to let you back into school when it's all said and done. The only thing I'm terrified about <laughs> is that you're going to have to play Palvin and Villian. I can do that. Okay. For how long he If lasts, Palvin's weak. If he does. Like, Palvin, Palvin should be, be like level three. Episodes. Yeah, he's very yeah. weak. Palvin, yeah, yeah. In Palvin's my, not going to make it. Palvin is level one. Okay. Who's, yeah. There's yeah. like the bar we had before <laughs> that got killed by the... Oh, yeah. yeah. There's, there's one... I remember his name. There's Olaf, one thing like, in... Olaf. Olaf. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's one thing in common with all of our party members. They all die. So... We'll be fine. Kata's doing Pal okay. Pal Pal Palvin <laughs> was not built to fight. Like, Palvin's not an adventurer. That is one thing that I want to make clear. I have yeah. no problem with him coming with you, but he's, like, not a level 15 hero For like sure. you guys. Sure. Absolutely. We'll keep you safe, Palvin. It's better than going home to my father, who will strike me. <laughs> yeah, no. look. Your dad's nice. <laughs> he's not. <laughs> he's not. But, All right, well, let's go. Yeah, Palvin, you can go on this journey and get strong and... Maybe come back and show them how strong you've become. Okay. Okay, I'll come. Okay. Let's go. All right, let's I'm go. I'm going to teleport. Excellent. <laughs> yes. We're going back to the camp. Okay, okay. So we're, we're going Potbelly. back to Potbelly's camp. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Side quest over. Greatest Hot. filler arc of all time. <laughs> A filler arc with lasting consequences. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> new, new party, party member. <laughs> new limbs. New party member. Yeah, limbs are back. Three Spoof. new instruments. <laughs> Pop can fight again suddenly. Yes. Potbelly mm. is uh, kneeling over a fire that he made. 
Uh, there's a black cauldron, a small black cauldron that he's hung up. It looks like he's making some sort of stew, and he's stirring with a wooden spoon. You teleport behind him, and he jumps mm. and drops the spoon. Hi. Can I try to catch the spoon with my tail? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you can. Okay, can I have you make an yeah, acrobatics check? You gotta check? get a roll yeah. for that. <laughs> it's a ten. Ten? Acrobatics? Yes. Twelve total? You managed to catch the fat end of the spoon, but still warm from the rabbit stew, it burns your tail and you drop it. <laughs> <laughs> Cooking up quite a stew there, Potbelly. <laughs> Who is this? Who is this? <laughs> oh, this <laughs> is <laughs> Papa, you're back. Wouldn't leave you behind, Potbelly. He starts crying. Whoa, it's okay. You really came back for me. Yeah, we're not going to leave you behind. Wh where is everyone else? Oh. God, we don't know. How, uh, we've been gone a long time. We need to find him. It's like 15 hours. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, Pop Miller, this is my student, Palvin. I'm training him. Pleased to meet you, Pop Billy. Whoa, Palvin, go <laughs> easy. <laughs> go easy. Pop Billy's really nice. Are you sure about this one, Pomper? He's had it rough. Give him some time. It's gonna take a while. Well, he seems to be a bit of a sourpuss, but you know what'll Ooh, cheer him up? From what I know of trolls, you have a taste for little girls, don't you, Potbelly? Hey, look. He's not wrong. <laughs> we speak the truth here amongst each other. Yeah. Turn over a new leaf. So We've that, all got flaws. We've all got problems. We're that, just trying to do the best we can, all right? That news has made it to Esserim. That's interesting. Uh, it was happening on Esserim. They, oh, they right. went to Bull Valley oh, to yeah, escape. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I see, I see. So they wouldn't um, have to deal with little girls. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to rise. Quick to anger. Do, would you like some rabbit stew? Yes! <laughs> now, I don't know you very well. What is your name? Pelvin! <laughs> We have one rule at Potbelly's home. <laughs> oh, this is your home? Yes, it is. And yeah. I'm very proud of my home. <laughs> I made this for myself. Beautiful home, Potbelly. <laughs> they're you just, know? they're outside, right? It's yeah, a it's just like a log. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's, it's, it's just, just a tree. Like, he's made, like, some stools and stuff yeah, out sure, of, like, sure. trunks and trees and stuff. But it's, yeah. <laughs> we, just so we know how pathetic this is. We mind our P's and Q's here, young Palvin. You want this stew? You say please. No. Then I guess we get some for Pomper. And he yes, please. The to Pomper. Thank you. Then pass that to Birdcough. It oh, seems like thank you. young Palvin will not be getting some stew tonight. Palvin. <laughs> Just say please. It's not that hard. Potbelly. Please. Say May I please have some stew? May I please have some stew? Yes, you may. <laughs> there you go. Now we're going to eat well, because we've got a big adventure on our hands. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we're going to have to rescue your friends. Rescue? Yes. Bird cough, I told you. Oh, that happened those eight hours. Yeah, it's been, <laughs> told it's been me longer what? than eight. I told you our friends could be dead by now. <laughs> no, you just said they're not dead. I don't know what state they're in. <sighs> I've been keeping a close eye. I haven't seen them come across here, and they're not with you. I think there's only one thing we can assume. They're in some trouble. Mm. We need to help them. I don't know what's going on with Malik. The last we checked in, there's a horde of angry trolls. Things are looking bad, and we need to go out and search for them. Yeah. And we can't waste time. Yeah, I'm sure they're fine, though. Tree's strong. Birdcough. Hmm? I got a bad feeling. About what? And Potbelly always trusts his gut. I think your friends are in danger. Hey, okay. Potbelly. Check this out. I take my, the wrapping off. <laughs> Showing my arm. <laughs> and your leg. This and my is leg. what Potbelly says. He kneels down. Oh, my word. And he takes your arm in his hands. And he's just wide-eyed and he goes, It was true. All of it. <laughs> the Jedi. 
All right, what's gonna happen now that we're back on Bulba? <laughs> Are we going to catch up to Vili and Kata and Therese? Find out next time on Tabletop Basketball. Oh.